Hello there. Today I'm going to um, assemble a NH35 um, automatic movement. I bought this um, as a non-working and um, it's, it seems to work for a few seconds and then it doesn't work. So that was the issue when I bought it. Um, after a long investigation, I have stripped down the um, clockworks. So I'm not going to show anything else apart from the clockworks. So what I've done, I've stripped down the whole clockwork and I'm going to assemble them back in place. But what was the problem with this is that at first, I thought it was the pallet fork that was the problem. So um, I start stripping down one by one, taking the balance off and then taking the um, pallet fork. And that seems to be good and it wasn't a, any problem because it was just nice and snuggle filled. After a long investigation, I come to see that the balance wheel is got a, a problem. The if I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Let's see if it focus. The jewel is missing. And so the balance is only moving for a few seconds and then it's not actually ticking the watch. So the fork is not moving at all. Pallet fork. And so obviously the escape wheel is not moving and so on. The seconds are not moving. So if you look very carefully, let's show you. See, there it should be the jewel. You see, there's no jewel in this. Let me see if I can focus it. See, there is no jewel in this balance wheel. Okay, that's the original one. Now, let's look at, I have another one, which I have taken off from another watch which is obviously another broken damage watch, but this balance wheel is good and it's a right fit. Maybe the shape of the, of the frame is slightly different, but it does fit in. It will fit in. So let's have a look at this first. Now, let's see if I can focus this. These are very small pieces and hard to really focus them. Now, if you look at here, you see, there's the jewel there. See that? See? There is the jewel there. I hope you can see that. That red dot. They're both identical. They're both the same size wheel. Um, the only difference is is the frame of the. This is come out of seven S. I think it's seven S twenty six. And this is the original one that came out. They both identical yeah there are slight differences on the frame but the screw will be the same the screw and the hole is exactly at the same on both of them it's just uh,
if you ever have a problem like this then you know they will both fit the same the frame is just on this one there's a little curve but on this one it's just a straight cut but this it's not going to shouldn't be any problem with the watch or the movement any kind but we'll see that but let's see if that solves the issue Good.
That's good. It's working nice. Check this out. There you go. That's also winding. And the wind is working. Hopefully it's got no stop. As soon as I put the escape um the pallet fork in and it should just stop the escapement from spinning and it would wind properly. Okay. Now I've uh, put the pallet fork, so it's all done. I'm gonna wind the watch, get some power in it. Okay, there's plenty of power there now. So this is the, the original one that came with this movement. bit fiddly this one is that's in now let's see There we go, that's free. Let's put the screw back on. As you can see, there's no movement. Oops. Oops. Okay. See, when you're videoing and you want to do something in a good time, you're rushing it. So things like this happen. But normally when I'm not doing any video, I'm only concentrating on my work. But when I do a video, it's just... You don't want to see all that time wasting. So the balance, you can see it's free. Let's just put some. So the balance is free. So there is no movement, see? Only when I'm giving pressure it is. So there's a lot of power in there. We can see balance is not swinging it is swinging I mean it's not catching the
pallet fork so obviously it's not wind it's not ticking the watch so the pallet fork is not going up and down or left right you know what I mean so it's not ticking and if the pallet fork is not moving the escape wheel is not obviously moving and if the escape wheel is not moving means the clockwork is not working so now you can see that it's free but it's not working so I'll take this off put this back now get the one that is working and good hopefully this one works difficult because it's got a screw and you can see it's got a hole there to hold this side and what happens it just you cannot balance it right at one straight away but it will work it will go in This gets stuck in here, that's why it's difficult. Get the escape of this side. So I mean the um, pallet fork. There you go, that's the end. Okay, that's in.
you can see it's already started to work you can also see the clockwork is working if you look there see the clockwork is working and the balance is moving freely and obviously it's got power in it so it's working so you can see that There we go. I hope you can see that it's working. So, what was the issue with this? The original balance wheel had a missing jewel which is was there here and that was causing the issue of the watch the movement not working it could have been many other things but at this point for this movement this was the issue and uh, I've shown you this how you can actually resolve if you have a issue with the pro uh, this kind of thing in the movement but it could be other things sometimes mainly you you do have the pallet fork and the um, escape wheel is the issue I'm just going to put the, the rotor on and uh, you can see the movement is working It can be simple if you know what you're doing. There you go. Should have enough power. As you can see now, I've uh, put an old used uh, dial and uh, hands and second hands on so I can uh, check the time. But I did have a few problems with it. Um, the time was actually going fast. So I was about gaining 20 minutes in about four hours. So it was quite difficult to regulate as I was trying to regulate it. Um, the, the It won't slow down. The balance won't slow down. So it was hard for me to quite find what the problem is. Eventually, I've managed to source the problem. The It was the hairspring that was slightly bent. Um, finally, I've managed to um, 
sort the hairspring out. Um, needed a bit of um, fixing, but I managed to do it. Um, it's working now, great. Um, it was gaining about 20 minutes in four hours. So now it's it's very good time. Only a few seconds um, in about six hours, so that's great. It's, uh, let me just show you now. So it's, it's great, it winds, very nice. Also, if I change, the dates change. Got hacking, so there you go. So everything seems to be working good. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope it helps you uh, in any way. Um, thanks for watching the video. And uh, I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks. Bye for now.